I found a place that you can have one terabyte cloud storage for free. If you want to have it, watch the video till the end. Let's jump to the screen. This software that we are going to install is a cross-platform software. It means that you can use it on Android, you can use it on iOS, you can use it on Windows, you can use it on Mac, and different operating systems that exist. So let's start. I put the link of this software in the description, but if you want to search it on the Google or any browser search engine that you have, in here just search Trabi. So just open the first website, and in the download part, if you are using Windows 10 and 11, you can use Microsoft Store. But if you want to directly download this app for Windows, click in the second one. As you can see, it can support macOS, it can support Linux, Android, and iPhone devices. When you scroll a bit, you'll see the plans. This free plan is lifetime, don't worry about it. But if you want to buy premium plans, you can buy it in here, okay? But again, I'm going to tell you this. If you want to buy the premium plans, wait a second. In here, I just hit and the sign up. And I'm going to sign up with using Google. In here, it has a cool launcher that told you different things of this software. And you can see my cloud. And you can see Terra AI. This one is an AI for the Terra bikes. So if you want, you can use it. As you can see, this is the AI. You can ask anything. And this AI is going to answer and find the results for you. I'm going to install the app. I just hit on the quick installation. And the new version is going to be installed on our device. Installing the Terabyte is really simple. I just click and right now it's installing. Okay, so we need to wait a second. This software also has an extension. So after you install the Windows app, you will see the extension. Okay, right now we need to give permission to network. You will need to give network permission to this software and as you can see this software has an extension so you need to enable that extension to download and upload things easily when you're using a browser again in here on the app you'll see the login so i just click on the google and start signing in with using google when you log in into your account as you can see you can have up to 70 percent off if you want to buy these terabytes okay so this is the thing that i told you wait a second if you want to buy the pro version of that and buy it in here buy with this link click in here and you will directly go into another place that says terabytes fifth anniversary sale and you can buy the terabytes for or up to 70 percent off Right now, we're logging into the Travax app, and as you can see, it says Welcome to Travax, offering you 124 free cloud storage space. Storage eh, is there. I just go into the My Cloud. In here, you will see all files, and this app, this software, it can understand and detect the files. It can detect images, videos, documents, music, and others. Okay. So if you go to transfer, you can transfer the things. You will see the recycle bin. You will see the start files that you like them. And you just start them. You can share the files. And you also have a personal vault on the software. So you need to open the vault. I just keep these things to you so you can do it. And in here, you will see the backup. Okay. So I just press on enable folder backup and choose a folder as an example i'm going to select the default folder not the folder that i actually use that one a lot so i just go into my edit folder and in here i just start backup for this profile and hit on the backup right now the progress of this process speed is based on your internet connection so if you have a high quality internet connection this process it will be happens as fast as possible but if your connection is lower than usual so this thing is going to take a while so i just add a folder and close this one i just go into all files and as you can see i can easily access into the backup file that i added if i want i can start it if i want i can download it and if i want i can share it share it to others okay I can share them, uh, I can share this file with using email, and I can also 
copy the link and share this file into anyone that I send that link for them. Okay, this is a cool option. So if I go to the image, as you can see, it detects the images that I have on this backup file. So no folder. I have a document, and if I go to the others, I can see PSC file, PSC Photoshop files. At the top part, I just go into this setting icon and again go to the setting icon. If you want to change the language, change it from here. And I let's go to the settings. In here, you can change the download location. And if you change it and you want to set that as default pass, click or check this one on the transfer speed you can set a speed limit for your upload and download right now i don't really like to set any speed limit but if you want you can set it and that's a cool option that this software has okay and i recommend you to enable this checkbox okay when you are transferring files your pc your desktop pc or any device that you have is not going to fall asleep okay your device is not going to be asleep if you want, you can change proxies and add proxies in here. In the quick upload, you can enable this quick upload plugin. And whenever you use Ctrl plus one shortcut, you can upload anything into this throw box. Okay, as an example, I just select this picture and hit Ctrl plus one. And this throw box quick upload appears. In here, I can upload it into quick file, pass. I can select the directory and I can open the Travax and choose other things. Okay, in the safe part, you can enable secondary password to accept authentication. That's a cool option. I really recommend you to enable the secondary password. With this way, you can protect your files and that's a cool thing. If you want to set a password for that one, so the setup is simple. I recommend you to use more than eight characters, use number, use digits, use symbols, use letters and capital letters and small letters with this way you can protect and have a good password your password should be from eight characters up to 24 depends on you so that's the thing that you need to do that. before finishing the video let me tell you two things the first thing subscribe with this way you can help us to create better contents for you and the second thing is when you go to this pc in here you'll see drawbacks okay so with this way you can have a quick and easy access and the other thing that you will see on the device on your operating system that you have is this little Travax okay that's called navbar Travax something like this so as an example let me drag and drop my image into this Travax little nav icon and I can see it's Upload it into my Travax file. This is the image that we upload. So if you want to let this one be in here, don't do anything. But if you want to disable them, go to the settings. And on the foundation, in here, you can enable and disable floating window and show Travax in my computer. When you enable auto start, it means that when you turn on your device, this app automatically launch when the Windows is booting. So that's a cool option. I recommend you to let it be enabled. If you like this type of content, don't forget to press the subscribe button. And if you want, you can watch this video too. And that's one, I'm going to tell you 10 most useful apps you need to have on your Windows operating system. See you at the next one.